Today is tackle prep day. Terrible outside. Tomorrow, first thing, I am heading out of town about 3.30 in the morning. Going on a bit of a quest with one of you guys' favorite all-time guests. Who the f*** it is? Since we're really, really smart, we are going to try to catch a state record. Weather's supposed to be terrible, but if you've trophy hunted, you know that's when the big ones generally come out to play. This could be a total disaster. We might catch the state record. We might catch our PB at least, but uh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. Slingshot engage. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Get on that ladder on the back one. He's a giant, giant, giant one, dude. Oh, <laughs> dude. Biggest smallmouth I've ever seen in my life. That's a potential state record class right there. Oh my God, that's gotta be my biggest ever. How is this fish 18 inches and five pounds? So freaking jacked right now. Look at this fish. Biggest smallie ever. Just panoptics this guy. Dude, right look at this one. Just tights? No, that's it. This is good. Tights. All right, it's 26 degrees. This should be good. <laughs> Let's see if Joe can find us. He's not a morning person, so it's really fun to mess with him in the morning. Uh, ah, he saw us. Did you think that I left you, Joe? Yeah, morning, Nappers. <laughs> yes. The lady <laughs> thought you drove off. Oh. I tricked someone at least. <laughs> Good. Did you pay? Or did no. <laughs> I was like, let's teach him a lesson. <laughs> Should we hit it? Are we doing it? Yeah. Pulling an audible. Seven pounds, seven pounder in there. Probably. This is the lake that's been shut down for a while, right? Yeah, it's been closed. No one's fished it in two years besides... Yakers! Chayaks. What's up, MFers? Welcome to uh, balmy South Dakotas. I say balmy because it's like 32 degrees and windy right now. We've been following along, myself and my, uh, my wizard friend, the Zark up there. Uh, yesterday we went and caught the biggest smallmouth bag of our lives. We're up here doing a little bit of fun fishing. Uh, we came in the pre-spawn phase, we got some nasty weather, and we're kind of billing it as trying to go and catch the state record bass up here. Smallmouth bass, that is. Um, state record, seven pounds, two ounces. Our biggest yesterday was 5'10". Our biggest five fish limit yesterday was 26 pounds and 10 ounces. It was an epic freaking day. Um, we're fishing a different lake today. Not really sure how this one is going to turn out. It's actually been closed for a couple years due to like some land act issues with the farmer that live here. There's actually a flooded farm back there. So we're gonna have to go check that out a little bit. Um, but we've heard really good things about this lake. Just reopened. I think we're gonna fish this one for a little bit and then we're gonna run back over to the uh, the lake that has the giants that we caught yesterday but we want to try something new. This lake looks pretty badass so uh, let's catch up. Oh did I mention it's not warm to you MFers? That was a brisk brisk run. I'm not cold. Yeah, you doing good? <laughs> Ooh, definitely a bite. There we go. There you go. I don't think so. It's definitely a fish. I'm aware. We're good. Little starter guy. Angry at the A rig guy. Not a bad one, but we didn't catch one that small yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Pinned him. He ate Mr. Sexy Shad. Yes, it is ideal to have six different color swim baits <laughs> on your Alabama rig. But uh, 
There we go, just came out to a road bed I saw just scanning around out here. You guys might be able to see road bed. Road bed, <laughs> just working down it. Second bite on it's about a two and a half pound smolly. Not what we're after, but good little starter guy. So he's either hooked funny or he's bigger. Ah, we're good. Same size. You bet. Two casts in a row, Zark. We found the sweet juice. The sweet spot juice. He's bigger. He's three pounder. They're just built different at this lake, but. Shicha. We colored that one half. Don't. Peeing. Get out of here. Don't worry about it, Zark. <laughs> He ate the middle one, the white one. Drop a waypoint because we apparently found somewhat of a sweet spot on the road bed. They must be pretty tight to the bottom too because I haven't seen any. Is that the one? Maybe. Maybe. The wizard man. Hope I got two. <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick. <laughs> Why did he eat it upside down? It's so <laughs> weird that he would do that, you know? I just don't want to touch it. My hands are cold. <laughs> it's freaking cold. He's with the all-white swimming bait. I like that. All-white A-rig. Decent little fish. Just fished through this area with the A-rigs. Now we're going to turn back around into the wind and drag it because we didn't catch any of the uh, quality we're looking for. A-rig is a good bait right now because the water's only... 46 degrees it's chilly so we're gonna go back and drag through this area where we just had that's a better one gotta be that's no, not <laughs> no his head shakes are too small not like the yesterday kind nope i got him you got him yep you hit my head not like the yesterday kind. Not like the yesterday kind. Might be. Now, we are indeed. We're so spoiled right now. Just a little That's baby, fish, three and a quarter pound smallmouth, probably. As I was saying before, I was interrupted. We did a little wind drift down that, marked exactly where we got our bites. Now we're gonna go back through and throw a little handmade jiggies with natural crawdad trailers. Joe's throwing a Ned rig. Because Joe's throwing the Flanders and we're about to lay into some, I think. Got him, babe. He was right here. That's a good one. Any followers? Joe and his Flanders rig. Seven pounder behind him. Is there? Yeah. Probably is. Okay, baby. It's tank. Be happy with that anywhere else yeah after yesterday we got spoiled da, 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 da. Yeah, where's your flanders down there dude you ate it right next to the boat you did just saying we're getting back where we had those bites which again Here, this is how you do it people oh, where was that guy from who are you talking about? The guy that was bitching about our fish release. Oh South Africa South Africa man if you're watching Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Some South African man. I, it. Do, I do have one thing to say about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. How in the world is that going to hurt the fish? And you ever seen any of the pros on TV? They go like this. Right. Yeah, some South African guy. I shouldn't say it like that. Some guy who happened to be from South Africa sent an email saying he's never going to watch my videos again because of how rude it is, how I release the fish. Which you guys see me, I'm usually just like, Whew. or if they're big, I put them down in the water. Uh, I understand a big fish because it got a lot of weight. Yeah, exactly. You don't see me freaking throwing a six pounder back like I've that. I've seen but fish jump three feet out of the water. It's, a, it's it more so them. than that. Right. That's a good point. Big or giant? Uh, or tiny? They're big. I can't tell. When he bit, he was just tapped. 
tough too when the water's 46. They don't want to. Uh... The leader people. What's a leader people? Throwing uh, 10 pound leader with an eight pound, excuse me, 10 pound braid with an eight pound leader. Wanted to go with a bigger leader up here because there's trophy, trophy class. And then I they don't, don't, they don't seem to care. And I don't like six pound line. Uh, he ain't that big. It's a walleye, I think, dude. I think so. Yeah, it is. It is. Launch. Launch. Woo! All right, we're fishing the spot a couple more minutes, then we're gonna go flip the farm. You gonna get in the farmhouse? <laughs> yeah, I think I might go flip the farmhouse from inside. The from farm. inside. That's where the bigs are, dude. That's why we haven't caught a big one. They're inside the farm. <laughs> Do you think the people are still in there? The skeletons? Yeah. They refused to they leave. Flooded it right around. He wanted yeah, to around. go. He went down with his ship. God. Dumb Ned, Mr. Ned Flanders up here. Did you catch yourself another Walter head? I uh, know it's. Head I think he's more of this acting like a small Jew. I'm trying to fish. Dick Cheese net kneader back here. Dirty Ned thrower. Come on, be Mr. Big. Come on, old Big. It's a big walleye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Damn turd tosser. God dang it, Joe. Dude, this is a freaking smallmouth. <laughs> a dollar. That that was a smallmouth. You would have given me a dollar. You owe me four bucks still because hook sets are uh, four bucks, remember? They're not free. There, get back to fishing, Joe. I'm gonna mess with this freaking walleye. The old farm spot. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Let's go explore it. All right, guys, we're fishing this uh, this point that comes off. There's like an island and a daggum farm flooded right. We're gonna go up to the farm, don't worry, but standing timber out here, probably a, a bad idea to pull There's this. There's a goose on that house. Probably a good idea to pull this <laughs> this A rig through it. Probably get snagged, but it is a big main lake point that this is on right here. So we're gonna hit this, and then we're gonna go flip in towards the barn region. Can't say I really ever fished silos before. Oh, that for sure was right here, dude. Hundred percent. We gotta catch one here. We're gonna catch one of this damn barn, Joe. You're getting in it too. I don't know how, but you are. Exactly. It's like a dock if it was in a foot of water. Eh, it's not very deep. Dude, you're getting up there. Get on get on that ladder on the back one. Dude, I don't know if we can, how are we gonna get in there? Not important. Get up and shallow enough, I'll walk. I got my boots on. Oh God. Guess the Zark's going up there. Where are you gonna go now? In the house, or up here, I don't care. <laughs> That's a little janky. No fish. Dude, this is falling over. Those are straps of the... Yeah, I wonder why. It's breaking down. Uh, I know, Joe. And we're not getting any closer. I don't know. Is that the ladder you want to go to? No. That's the only one you got a chance to even get no, to. it's falling down. I don't know. You're out? Yeah. The Zark's a chicken. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, lake number one. Caught fish and... Uh, couple spots we fished except for the barn spot unfortunately we did not catch any in the flooded barn uh, but we just didn't get the sense that it had the quality of the dock lake that we fished yesterday so I'm gonna make a drive over there spend the rest of the day there and uh, yeah that's the lake where we had almost 27 pound limit yesterday we seriously felt like there was a couple fish we caught in the 20 to 21 inch range that if they would have been built like a couple of the 18 inch ones we'd have a solid shot at that uh, seven pound two ounce state record so I think we're spending the rest of our time there Sure glad South Dakota does a good job keeping their roads graveled. Yeah. Bo boat's looking good. That's uh, real nice. Real nice. All right, lake number two, back to uh, where the donks were yesterday. The boat is completely destroyed with mud. So that's good. I guess that we better make it worth it to catch some damn fish and then completely power wash the entire inside of my sexy new black Betty. We gotta keep her a little bit clean. We can't just destroy her like the old boat. Got one. Dude, that's the fattest smallmouth I think I've ever caught. There you go. GG. 
giant, giant, giant one, dude. Oh, dude. That's the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen in my life.